Hoffman School of Law. Not only was it the place where I got my legal education, but it was a place where memories were formed, where friendships were made, where I had a chance not only to academically pursue my dreams, but also to get involved with the people at the school, to get involved with different activities, to take on different challenges, different roles, and to give back to the school that has given me so much. So every chance I got to speak up in class, I would. I always made an effort to participate, to raise my hand, and to contribute in a meaningful way. Paul um, was a student last semester in my critical race theory class. So he wrote his paper on, on whether, to what extent, affirmative action is a important policy for Asian Americans. And it was a really good paper. It, the research was very much in depth. And he explained um, the issue of the struggle for civil rights from the unique perspective as an Asian American. He's an outgoing guy, so he shares his opinion. But he, I think he was very professional and diplomatic. Um, I remember his class participation. So he's a good, he's a good speaker. He engaged the audience. It was really good. It was one of the best. I tended to do better in classes and activities where my performance was on the line. Criminal Justice Clinic is a mini law firm uh, with students supervised by uh, actual working attorneys. They take on actual cases for the Dallas County. Paul was amazing. Everybody loved Paul. Funny, serious when he has to, always took care of business. We knew that the cases that were assigned to him would be taken care of. He organized a ethnic potluck where he organized all the 12 students and, and he got most of them to bring in a dish of their own ethnicity. Before and during law school, I interned at different offices, including the law office of Becky Beaver, Walsh Anderson, the public defender's office, Win Tran Law Firm, the United States Merit Systems Protection Board as an administrative judicial intern. The SMU Board of Advocates was another opportunity to get involved with mock trial, moot court, and many different competitions. I tried out for teams, and luckily I made a team each and every semester in which I tried out. So I competed on many different mock trial teams and had the opportunity to work with many different coaches. So what we look for in somebody like Paul is, are they confident, are they comfortable just getting up and talking to us? Paul came in there, he was really confident. He's well-mannered, comes in, shakes your hand, looks in the eye, and you know right away, like, oh, this is a guy who's confident in what he's doing, and I'm about to hear something interesting. And we were just, we were blown away. I mean, he was, he was our first choice. Paul gave me one of the more memorable trials uh, that season. And I have been coaching for nine years now. He is, to date, still the hardest working student that I have ever had. I think Paul's probably the only one with the content prepared. Um, and he not only had it written down, but had memorized parts of it when I asked him to. Like, Paul was always prepared. Paul was a great advocate. He could always like attack something and argue passionately. By the time he, he was presenting in his last competition, um, he was doing just a, a fabulous job of very quickly learning what the most important facts of the case were and making sure the jury didn't forget those things. Paul and the rest of his teammates won their first opening rounds and then made it to the playoffs where they put in an excellent round. I mean, I think Paul has that kind of that winning attitude you have to have in order to, to want to be a litigator but he does it in a very gentle, very easygoing way that makes everybody like him. Paul brought a, a family togetherness, if you will, to the team. He, he brought us food one day, I remember that. And uh, since then I was like, okay, this Paul guy's okay. And once you get Paul out of his suit, uh, he's just a fun dude to hang out with. Paul brought his camera. I don't think Paul's ever been separated from his camera. Now we've got all these great pictures of the event. There's what's called the Order of the Barristers. Now, what this is, is every, every year, 10 people from SMU are selected as the best advocates of the graduating class. So Paul's sitting next to me, 
Paul's name gets called. And Paul, uh, I mean, uh, Paul's like, oh, wow, really, me? And you know, he gets up and you know, obviously cameras are flashing around because Paul's family was there. It was like a celebrity, really. To be recognized as one of the 10 best advocates at the school was a huge honor. I have always been in touch with my cultural identity as a Vietnamese American. So it was natural for me to get involved with the Asian organization on campus called Apulsa. Paul was the face of Asian American law student association. Here we have somebody who so identified himself as Asian American, who wants to be part of the law school community, who wants so much to show that the Asian American student is here as part of the law school culture. He was a natural born leader, and I would say that compared to all other students that I've known at SMU, Paul just took the position and transformed Apulsa. He hosted many events for Apulsa, connecting Apulsa with other law organizations, connecting Apulsa with Asian American lawyers in Dallas, and also connecting Apulsa with the national leadership as well. The law student leadership at Apulsa has become incredibly active on the national level. Certainly that was true when Paul served as a director. We won the National Affiliate of the Year Award, the coveted award for all of Pulses across the country. They are lavish events. They are the events that brought everybody together. He introduced this video. I was, I was so amazed to look at the overview of what happened the year before. And what Paul did is to create memory for us and also to create history for us. And I hope that Aposa will carry on that tradition. What he's done in, in Aposa, to me, he has always been building bridges. DABA is a professional organization of attorneys mostly advocating for the interests of Asian Americans. I definitely remember Paul coming to a DABA meeting and gave a presentation to the board about ways in which DABA could partner more with law students. They initiated that meeting, they wanted to make the presentation, and, and they did a very good job of it too when they came to that meeting, so we were all very impressed. What better way to make sure things like that are happening than to, to put a law student on our board so that the students involved from the very beginning. Soon after, I was appointed the very first student advisory director for the Dallas Asian American Bar Association. I became the regional director for the Central South region, in which I was in charge of coordinating events amongst the students and organizations within Texas. Because it's not about himself as a leader, but about other people, and that is rare. With that type of skills, Paul will be a great lawyer. Somebody who is selfless, who cares enormously about the community. The enormous amount of time that Paul gave to SMU, that to me is valuable. Paul worked with the international students. I have always had a desire to learn about the cultures of other people. We have a group of dedicated law students that are called uh, LLM Mentors. It's a program where lawyers from other countries who already have their law degree and, uh, can come here and they study for a year. Paul was instrumental from the very beginning and showed so much enthusiasm and, and worked on it for three years. That program starts from the minute they come on campus uh, through orientation, making sure that simple little things like where we buy our books and, and helping them with registration and just having friendly faces of people that are here already. When I met Paul through the um, mentor program, it was very nice to all of the international students and uh, we had a great time together. Paul's an innovator. Uh, Paul is always thinking not of how have we done things, but how can we do things. During the time Paul has been there, the program has expanded so that the mentors stay involved both semesters, not just with orientation, but with helping students plan and, and providing uh, social activity. The Halloween party is wonderful. People show up uh, with 
their traditional customs, clothes, and uh, we had to try uh, different cuisines. Paul was very thoughtful in preparing the party. I think having someone enthusiastic like Paul, who is not just an inspiration to the LLM students, but helps recruit other JD students, you know, our law, regular law students, who had a passion and a heart for international students. I am very glad that um, we have a good mentor like Paul, who was always care about the international student. He was very hardworking, very intellectual, that he um, very serious that he was going to work hard in this class. I think he's well suited for the profession. I think he's going to do well. I believe that he will succeed in whatever role he takes out in the community. Paul's a driven guy. He's going to he's going to be successful in his life. The kid is smart, and you can't teach smart. But I bet five years from now or ten years from now, Paul is doing something where he is taking on very challenging work. I think that Paul's going to be someone I'm, I'm going to be proud of him in, in about ten years. Paul. Is is great because he's he's got so much enthusiasm, you know. He's friendly to everyone, so so he naturally attracts people. I see Paul be a great attorney. He's really going to contribute to the community. He's going to be one of those people who's coming back to school. He's on a panel for the career services, talking about jobs and opportunities. He's uh, somebody that will be. Uh, featuring in our alumni magazine because of some accomplishment that he's done. And he's somebody that uh, is going to make a difference in the world. I thank Paul for the endless hours that Paul gave to SMU. I thank you to you, Paul. But as Dean Camp always said, I never regret the things I did. I only regretted the things I didn't. All the memories I created in the law school were because I said yes to all the opportunities that I saw in front of me. I know that the skills, the knowledge, and the experiences that SNU provided me with will help me to serve my community and to make the world a better place. I'm gonna make this place yours